Well, hello, and thanks for joining me once again from this absolutely beautiful village of Halls Gap in the Grampians. You can see the Grampians up there behind me. So I'm spending some time here, as you probably already know. But today's video, I wanna to talk to you about how to encourage creativity and inspiration for nightscape images. So I'd like to talk to you about some keys to maximizing our concentration and energy levels whilst we're out shooting the stars. And you know, in this beautiful location, sharing it with some friends of mine here, I wanna take you on a bit of a, a journey and we'll have a look at some different subject matter and I'll show you some different examples of images and we'll just talk about some of these keys. So let's go. <music> Well, I'm looking at this awesome little creek down here, which has got lots of rocks and stand in this gully. Fairly precarious position. So this brings me to my one, one of my favorite topics, and that is to scout locations during the daylight hours. Now, one of the things that I can tell you from my experience with nightscape images, it is far, far easier to work out your composition and even find your locations. If you go there during the daylight hours, the last thing that you wanna be doing is getting in the car, driving out in the middle of the night and hoping for the best composition because rarely is that ever going to happen. In my experience, it never happens. I have to go out there, find these places during the daylight, have a good look, work out my angles, work out where I can get the Milky Way coming through trees or whatever space there is in the sky, work out how I'm going to get around the different things to light paint and all of those details that go to making a great night image. And I can't do that if I just hope that I can find somewhere when I go driving in the car. And so that's my number one key, scout locations during the daylight hours. Now I know you guys have heard me talk about this at length in the past, but I always set my locations during the daylight hours into my GPS in the car. I mean, to me, it's a no-brainer. It makes sense because if you've been there already during the daylight hours, it's just so easy to mark it in your GPS so that you can come back at night time. And for me, I've got so many of these things marked in my GPS and it's just a piece of cake. Even if it's months later, I know exactly where to go back to. You know, we use a whole lot more energy walking around during the night time when we're scouting locations. I guess it's because a combination of cold temperatures and being rugged up and uh, maybe it's a little bit more anticipation. I'm not quite sure what it is, but at night time, I know for a fact I get more tired and a little bit more stressed physically than I would doing the same thing during the daylight. Okay, so point number two is to keep trying new things. There is so many people in this world that just copy what everybody else does. And you know, there's no real excitement in doing that, is there? I think the key to great nightscape photography is to experiment, try new things, try light painting if you haven't done that before, try different focal length lenses. You'll be absolutely surprised what you can achieve if you give it a go. If you just follow what everybody else does, you'll end up with images that look like what they do. Try to be individual, try something different, give it a go. You'll be really pleasantly surprised when you do. Now 
I've been shooting nightscape photography for quite a number of years now. Before that, I did lots of other types of photography. And I can tell you from my experience, nightscapes are the most difficult genre of photography to perfect and master. So what we have to do is give ourselves the highest opportunity to do so. And you know, the other aspect that comes with that is the fact that because it's difficult, so many people give up. They don't push through. And largely that is because of they, they run out of energy, they run out of steam, and they lose motivation and inspiration. So one of the things we need to do is continually be inspired. Now that might be talking with other people. It might actually be going out shooting with other people. It might be sharing the experience with somebody else. Whatever it is that inspires you and motivates you to get out there, that's what you have to do. So my third point, which I think helps a lot of people, is to actually get involved with a group or at least one other person and get out there and make it a, a bit of an adventure. Get out there and challenge each other. Get out there into the night sky and start shooting. You'll find, if you do that, that you'll actually start rubbing off on each other and you'll each motivate the other. And I think that's a real key to learning. Okay, well, we're almost there. So point number four is to set clear goals and continually ask yourself the question, what is it that I actually want to achieve with my nightscape photography? To give yourself a timeline, learn the basics, but don't be happy just to stay there. My suggestion is to continually re-evaluate your goals and don't be afraid to ask for help. Study yourself, do photography workshops, and practice, practice, practice. It's the only way to improve your craft. And finally, one of the things I see all the time in photography circles is that people compare themselves to other photographers. That's a recipe for disaster. If you're going to do that, you're never going to be as good as somebody else. And it's this continual climbing of the ladder and usually falling down a rung as you climb one up. So you get nowhere. No, it's far more beneficial to you to be your own creative self be the person that you're supposed to be. Try the things that you want to try. Don't worry about what the other people are doing. Give it a go. I'll guarantee once you put the effort in and you're persistent and you try to learn the art of photography, you will be successful and you will achieve the goals that you've set yourself to achieve. I guarantee it. An absolutely amazing view it is up here on this lookout and that leads me to my final point the best piece of advice I can give you is to simply enjoy what you do enjoy the night sky enjoy the landscape it's there for us to get absolute pleasure from and to share with other people and that's the thing that's the reason we do it that's what motivates me the most to get out under the stars at beautiful spots like this and shoot nightscapes so just enjoy the view well I don't really think there's a whole much more that can be said I think being in these beautiful epic locations motivates us in itself, regardless of anything else. For me, I have a hunger and a thirst to experiment, to try new things and to get out under the stars. I love the Milky Way. 
I love to see the nightscape. I love to be out in the night air. I love to breathe that fresh air and I like to just feel the motivation that comes with being there. So thanks again for watching. I love the fact that you've joined me again today. More exciting adventures on the way. So I'll see you next time.